Well, it finally happened. We got stuck. And I mean really stuck. What was supposed to be a simple chore day after taking a week off of van life and enjoying an all-inclusive resort with my parents, we almost turned our van into a sinking submarine. We are back to reality. Thank you. Just dropped off our parents, my parents, and uh, the all-inclusive is no more. So we're back in the van. Today is gonna be spent fixing the van, getting the van ready for van life getting our composting toilet back together so we can poop in a jug. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, all the uh, nice amenities are over. <sighs> oh, the joy. Right, so it is only 10 a.m. We left the hotel this morning around 8.15 and we've already visited three storage places, figured out where we're gonna park the van, dropped Kevin's parents off, and filled up our water tank and our extra jugs. So I'd say we're doing pretty good with our tour day so far. We'll see if we can get it all done and hopefully, crossing our fingers, maybe make it to Nine Palms tonight. It all depends on how the little guy does because we don't want to push him. He's gonna be in the car seat a lot today. A bunch of in and outs. Not the burger joint. They can do today? Yeah, okay. they said five. They originally said seven. I said baby. So laundry is officially dropped off. It's a little bit more expensive than we like to pay. It's 500 at this place in San Jose del Cabo, but the good thing about it is the turnaround is same day. So we can do like our sheets and everything and have them for tonight. I had to run to the laundry place, so I'm a little out of breath. But 500 pesos, which is about 30 some dollars for them to wash it, dry it, fold it, and for us to pick it up all in the same day, so. I'll take it. Next stop is the grocery store to get some food and then we are headed to Home Depot. Groceries are done. Now it's finally time to fix the problem that we incurred on our solo road trip. A solar panel literally just ripped off the top of our van on the highway. Luckily there is a Home Depot down here in Cabo San Lucas. So I'm gonna be working on the solar panel and if I need any tools or if I don't have the right bolt or drill bit, I'll be able to get it here at least. So it gives me a little bit more confidence when I need to do work here. God forbid I don't have a part because I couldn't bring my entire garage at home in the van. So fortunately, my parents were able to bring this to Mexico and it would have been a nightmare trying to ship it here. So I am extremely grateful to them for helping me out. It is getting hot here in Mexico. While Kevin works on the solar panel, I am putting away the groceries, watching Wyatt, and actually making him a little snack. Babies can't have apples, so I steam apples and make them all soft for him so that they're a nice little healthy snack for our boy. Eight years later. Okay, I think I got what I needed. How come every time we go into a Home Depot, you come back? 40 minutes later. Because it takes so long to find the things that I would need. And then I, <laughs> I start thinking like, okay, do I need anything else? Should I bolt something down? I'm gonna put a bolt on the bottom of the rib nuts because one of the rib nuts got stripped, I think. And when the solar panel ripped out, it ripped the entire bolt out. So, or I'll put a nut on the bottom. Anyway, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Ready to get started with this stuff now. Are you enjoying your Cheerios? I also need to work on cleaning this place up a bit. It is an absolute pigsty, which always happens on laundry day because I take apart the bed and all that kind of stuff. So everything is literally just everywhere. Fridge Tetris is such a true thing in van life. We get these small fridges and there's just nowhere to put anything. What do you do with that? What? On top of being Wyatt's snack creator, I also create snacks for uh, the hardworking dad. Here you go, Kev. So, um, I'll have it after if that's okay. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Kevin's not ready for the snack yet, so keep it cold for him. Still not perfect, but at least it's a little cleaner. The solar is all done. Who would have thought we'd be done all of our tasks 
by 2.30. The only thing we have to do left is pick up our laundry. Yeah. It's great. Not bad. We can go relax or get s some relaxation in for an hour or two, yeah. hopefully. And then uh, off to Nine Palms, baby. Heck yeah. Feels good to be done. Oh. I am dirty. I was really hoping not to shower, but I don't know what I was thinking. There was pretty much inevitable with me working mm. up on the van in the hot sun. Yeah, so we'll post up in El Tule for an hour or two and then get our laundry. I feel good about today. Today's mm. our best chore day yet. Wow. Wow. You don't feel like no, it's accomplished it's, a lot? This spot is super convenient. Home Depot and a Fresco La Camer, which Taylor said is arguably better. So I mean, they have the same products, but this one is really, really nice. Yeah. Um, and the convenience of it just being so, like, isn't Costco right over there? Yeah, Costco's right down the street. Like, this is the money spot. Yeah. Right Especially for El Tole. Yeah. Like, and come here for El Tole. Right, and their produce was probably better than La Camer. That's nice. Well, time really got away from us. It is now five o'clock. We were planning on getting to the laundry place to pick up our laundry by 4.30, because last time we got our laundry done here, it was actually done early. Um, but we had too much fun chatting it up with our new friends. So we're running a bit late, but now we're heading to get our laundry. Nice, came in a bag. Came in a bag. Laundry secured off to Pemex to get gas, and we are almost at Nine Palms. So we're waiting in line for the diesel pump here, but it's gonna be 42 minutes to get to Nine Palms, and the sun's going down soon. But we wanna put the van in four wheel drive to get to a good parking spot. So I'm hoping we make it before the sun goes down because one, you don't wanna drive when it's, when it's dark. Two, you don't wanna park when it's dark, and three, you just want to be done before the sun goes down so you can relax. I don't know if any of these are going to happen, but fingers crossed we can get gas fast and then we'll be good to go. It wouldn't be back to van life within a little hiccup. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, the rest of the day went so well, so I mean, it's only natural that we're going to have some sort of hiccup. <laughs> and if we can make it to Nine Palms and get a good spot, and the only caveat is it's a little bit dark out, I'd say we still did pretty good. Well, yeah. I mean, if we didn't have a baby, it would be no big deal. He's but... chilling. I'm keeping him company. Yeah, but... Yeah. Diesel secured. We are in route. T minus 41 minutes, apparently. But we're stuck behind a chicken bus, so it might take us a little bit longer. And I'm not sure what time sunset is. Is it before or after 41 minutes? Well, the sun is currently setting, so I think it's just a race. I don't know if it's setting technically, is it? Somebody passed the chicken bus on the bridge. Why, you don't drive at night. There's a rule in Baja not to drive at night, and the cattle is why. There's a bunch of cattle on the road right here. And if you're going fast, it could be really dangerous. So do yourself a favor and don't do that. Coming up along the beach here at Nine Palms. Nine Palmas. And uh, yeah, so we're close. It's getting dark though. How stuck are we? We're pretty good. Uh, Actually, not that bad. So, uh, all things were going great, but we decided to try to get to a really nice 4x4 camp spot. And now we're stuck. It's 622, and I guess we're about to get digging. I think we should have went up there. I was wondering why you didn't go that way. Yeah, wasn't thinking. We're officially using them for ourselves. We're officially using them for ourselves. Hopefully the tide doesn't come up. Yeah. 
dude. This is my this is my choice of activity. <laughs> oh, Sitting on the beach playing guitar, you do that every night. Goodness. I know uh, someone's got a toe strap if we get like really in trouble. Remember when I said in Baja having a full successful tour day doesn't always happen? Well, it never happens. It would have been so good. We made it all the way to Nine Palms, but it's our first time ever getting stuck at the sand. And it's little man's bedtime. But he seems to be enjoying it. Never a dull moment. Ready. Oh shit. All right, so we have dug ourselves pretty deep here. We have three sets of treads, three diggers. Thank you, Max and Caleb. We owe you guys big time. And the tide is coming in. And I must say we are pretty close to the water. So time is only working against us. It's okay, honey. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And we are getting some help. As annoying as this is, I think all the boys are actually kind of enjoying using all of their little toys with the go treads, the other treads, just digging and you know, boys will be boys, but the winch is coming in, so we're about to be saved, hopefully. Caleb's really saving my life right now. Whew. That was the gnarliest dig out I've ever seen that we had to take part in too. And it was on us. Well, it's way past little man's bedtime and uh, we still don't have the bed made. The front is still a wreck. I just showered and tried to get all the sand off me, took an outdoor shower. Luckily I heated water because our engine heats our water tank, so that was kind of nice, but what a series of events. Note to self, never ever try and get a deep spot in the evening. A big thanks to Max and Caleb, you guys uh, seriously saved us. I mean, I thought we were gonna be okay. And after multiple attempts, I was starting to lose hope. Caleb has a beast of a truck and was able to tow us out. We were getting close and closer and closer to the really, really soft sand on an angle going towards the water and it was going towards high tide. So we were getting in really, really deep trouble. But Caleb was able to tow us out and I am so grateful. I owe you, man, if you're watching this. Thank you, Max, again. Thank you so much for helping. You didn't even hesitate, neither did you guys, but that was pretty aggressive. Pretty stupid on my part. I will be the first to admit I took the wrong route. But uh, yeah, so we're in the hard stuff right now tonight and we will reassess and maybe try again tomorrow during the day with plenty of daylight and not go so close to the water this time. It's 10.09. Not the night we were hoping for. Definitely not. The day was going so well, we said. I'm so well, we jinxed it. I was so confident. Ripping through there. Well, we went through the wrong section. I know. So. I was so confused because I, I thought that was the section, but it looked so tight. And their cars were so close to it, too. I was gonna say the other van was kind of in the way of it, so. Yeah. But lots of lessons learned this one. Hopefully we won't make the same mistake. Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully we'll get to our new spot in the morning and then the van won't move for... Two days. Three, two days. Three days. Three days, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. All right, well. 
that's all. This Good vlog night. turned eventful quick. Oh, Good night. So the path we took was not wise. Quite deep, rather. Holy crap, this is where we were originally digging out of. And then we were slowly falling into the soft sand hill to the left of me. The ocean. We were trying to be a submarine. Yeah, we were trying to be the first Sprinter Van submarine, but wow. Thanks for watching guys and join us next week where we finally get to show you the camping spot that we were hoping to get to originally. And we share with you our daily routine here for the next three days. Yee! Ha <laughs> ha!